All right, we're in the pits. I'm Dennis Pitsenbarger. Welcome back to The Fuel Show. Now, all winter long, you've been driving in the muck and the snow and the rocks have been hitting your car. you got to figure out how to make it look better. Now, we're going to start with Ty from Baxter Auto Parts. Thanks for having us back down to the shop. We're going to start with the outside, then we're going to move to the inside. But for right now, you know, you can wash it, you can uh, make it look pretty, but you, there's some finishing touches. What are those? Right, after you get done with that initial wash job there, try to do a good job washing it. Try to get in all the nooks and crannies, wash under the wiper blades, get in the cowls, anywhere where, just spend a little extra time and get it clean. And then you can go over with a fine tooth comb and analyze what needs to be done on that. On the outsides, what we're looking for is any blemishes, tar, uh, rock chips, things that have happened to the vehicle, we want to nip those at the bud so they don't grow into worse problems. Well sure, and it looks like we got a little scratch right here right up on the front of this truck. Why don't you tell us a little bit how we can get rid of this? Well what we're looking at here is we're actually looking at maybe a little slight ding here, possibly a slight scratch, but there's some discolorization and some hazing there. Well, we want to get the gloss back on there and we always try to do that with as minimal abrasive as possible. So Meguiar's makes this great product here, Scratch X here, and it actually has a diminishing abrasive. So it starts to work on the coarse cuts and then works its way down to the fine polishing on it. And you should be able to get that out in one simple step. That's a great product. You know what, I did body and paint for years. And you know, when you polish a car at a professional level, there's you use multiple products, multiple pads, it's a little bit more of a process, but a guy in a garage can grab a rag and a bottle of this stuff and take a scratch out. Why don't you give us a quick demonstration on sure. this? Sure. Well, it looks like, you know, there's just about nothing you can see there except for shiny paint. Right, and that's the goal here is to make that baby just be gone. And we can move on to the next topic, which is a rock chip, but I got a neat little trick for that. So if we go around to the front of the vehicle here, I'll okay. show you talking about right here. Right, and you can see that guy. To me and you, it looks kind of like an eyesore, but this is actually a, a, a dull finish metallic black here. Black is great because I have a top secret tool for fixing those. And what is that? It's a Sharpie. Oh, good Lord. Watch me work right here. Just fill that in, get into the edges as best you can there. Let it dry. We've talked about stuff on the outside. Why don't we move to the inside? Okay, you? that's great, because that's usually the place of the worst disaster area. I gotta agree with you, Ty. All winter long, you're tracking stuff in and out of your truck, in and out of your car, whatever it might be. How do you get rid of this stuff? Well, this is what you see is just normal winter wear and tear. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a quick clean here. We're not gonna do a full on detail here. We're gonna make this baby livable again. We're gonna look for any stains and maybe do a quick stain removal on those. But for the mo most part, we're gonna get rid of the dust, get rid of the dirt, get rid of the clutter. That's what really makes these things bad to be in after, after the winter. So one of the best places to start is with the floorboard. Now in this vehicle right here, what they've installed is a set of these pro uh, nifty products mats here that actually protect the floorboard. Now most vehicles come with a set of mats, so a good place to start is to get those out of the vehicle. After you get those out of the vehicle, then you want to run around with your vacuum cleaner. And for any stubborn stains, you get the right tool, and then you can actually comb the carpet, which will allow any other res residual dust and dirt to pop right up on the surface. Makes it e easy to vacuum up. Now, what products are there? I mean, you know, I, you hear carpet cleaner and stuff, you know, they, getting a stain out of your, what, your dog, you know, and he, and he messed up your carpet in the front room. There, there's specific products for the automotive world. What are they? Right. Well, when we're looking at the carpet, sir, the vacuum cleaner is the best place to start there. But we're going to go with the simple spot remover here. And you could go over your whole carpet with this here, but I don't think that's really necessary. I think we're looking for any mean stains. You know, where you spilled the milk last week that uh, you didn't make, make it around to clean it up, this will get rid of any of that, that res residual mess. And I think a lot of it might be, you know, it's funny how you get messes in the garage or where you're picking up your vehicle. You can actually track that in the vehicle. To truly kill an odor isn't to mask an odor, it's actually to kill the odor. Biologically, believe it or not, it sounds scary, but get yourself a real carpet odor deodorizer and you're going to see on the package that it says does not cover it, it kills the odor. And you'll find just a couple of squirts, goes a long ways. Now obviously what, what you want to do is, is get all the little nooks and crannies out of the vehicle clean. I mean it's amazing how many people don't realize that you can grab half of the items that collect these things, dirt, grime, cookie crumbs, pull them out of the interior and just tap them out. I mean there's got to be a, a smarter than you know average bear philosophy to this. Right, most vehicles nowadays know we're going to spill our soda pops from the drive through so they'll actually have removable inserts. So keep your eye out for that in your owner's manual it might even cover that. Also, bringing these out allows you to get in, the, in these real good. This might be easy to put in your dishwasher. 
quick and easy to get that clean. Well, it's amazing how much better that job I could do than a, a Q-tip in four hours of my day. Yeah. Hey, now, you know, one of the things you got to get up is on the dash and stuff. I mean, you got dust and a collection of whatnot. How do you get that clean? And normally on the dash areas, it's dust. So when you do any of this type of product, have a clean rag and don't overuse the product. A couple light sprays. You see people ways. doing that a lot. You know, they get a little crazy. It's like, you know, the the joke, you know, the, on the cheapy used car lot, they go crazy with the Armor All bottle. Um, you know, stuff like this is more of a cleaning. And I think you need to look at it from the aspect of getting it clean first. You can dress it up at another time, getting it clean. And I think it's important to note that it's good for all materials. You know, you, like you said, you, you have so many different material choices or different materials used by the factory. It's nice to know that you don't have to worry about it discoloring something. You see that in tires and wheels sometimes. Guys will clean up a tire and wheel, they'll spray the wrong thing on a wheel and all of a sudden it's disaster. You don't want to discolor your dash in the same aspect. Correct. Well, what about the seat you're sitting in? Uh, we have plenty of products available to clean those too, Dennis. All right, well, you can catch any of those products down at Baxter Auto Parts. There's 33 locations all over the Pacific Northwest, or you can go to thefuelshow.com and find it from there. The Fuel Show is made possible by the Russ Auto Group, Baxter Auto Parts, Northside Ford, Four Wheel Parts Performance Center, Grand Prix Imports, and Ray Reese Dealerships.